Wolf will face highest score of the day if he ever played ball. Walsh is one of the top big wave surfers in the world. <laughs> Episode 4. I'm on my way to the gym. It's about three minutes from my doorstep, which is pretty convenient. This is where I spend a lot of my time before winter starts, just you know, getting ready for all the swells that are about to come. And every time I'm home, I try to just catch up on a little bit of working out. I like to be a pretty versatile surfer. I feel like all the training that I do really reflects every different aspect of surfing. So for contests and smaller wave stuff I'm filming where I'd be like loose and have quick reflexes and all the timing's really on point. And then for like pipeline or bigger waves that I'm filming or doing contests in, you know, you want that power and agility and endurance, like a little bit of cardio to like keep, you know, you know you're constantly moving and hunting down waves. Here we go, Ian Walsh, huge pipe barrel, comes out backside. Who's going to score here? It is Red Black, Ian Walsh at the back door. Big barrel. Let's watch the surfers here. And then for gigantic waves, a lot of it is like expanding my lungs and learning how to hold my breath and a lot of just like power training. My trainer here on Maui is Isaac Terrell, and I've been working with him for the last two years or so. A lot of athletes I find is, especially like Ian, is they're not pros for no reason. They're awesome at what they do. I've definitely noticed like a huge difference in my overall strength and endurance and how long I'll last through the winter. Tired. <sighs> now you did. You did enough when your legs are wobbly coming down the stairs getting out of the gym. Then the free diving training I do has been with Kurt Kroc and he's pretty much changed my whole life. I'm the president and founder of Performance Free Diving, basically specializing in uh, free diving education, training athletes and the regular public to hold their breath, dive deep, stay down long, go far. I've grown up only being able to hold my breath for like 40 seconds. He didn't think he had maybe a 30 to even 40 second breath hold. And I couldn't dive more than 20 feet down in the water. And after one day of training with him, he's able to get me up to three minutes and 30 seconds in the water. and dive down to about 100 feet. Ian's making some really amazing progress. He's probably quadrupled his breath hold time. And then after a week or two of the guy, I could do like four minutes and 40 seconds and dive to 120 feet and stay down there for a couple minutes. So he's definitely taught me how to like control my lungs, control the feelings you get if you are gonna black out and basically know a lot more about my body in really bad situations underwater. The depth dives we're doing, where I'm trying to get down to like 100 feet or so and spend some time at the bottom, is always like so eerie when you take that first big breath and head into the water, you can't even see the bottom when you start. 
And then as you start going, it slowly starts to come into focus. So the work in the pool with the air tanks and being thrown all around and when you're time to come up and you're cutting the guys off and you're trying to swim and they pull you down is basically like simulating what it would be like in a wave, like in a whitewash. When you have that air tank shooting in your face, it's like opening your eyelids up and like shooting water everywhere. It's hard to like hold your breath and you got bubbles flying all around your face and the guy down there throwing you around is to kind of simulate like disorientation and like confusion where you are and the feeling like you you think you're at your last bit of breath and you're as much as your body can handle and you start swimming up and they rip you back down for a few more seconds and you really learn that in your worst case scenario you actually have a little bit of, of a reserve tank of oxygen welcome to the Ian Walsh experience